Hello and welcome to Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes. This is the good, the bad, and the ugly Flat Earth comments number two with Mark Sargent and me. Hey, Mark. Hello. Are you ready for this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've already been... Well, I polished off one glass of wine and... See, I uh, don't ever start till the show starts. Oh, yeah. Because that's probably all for the best. Well, I kind of have to because, remember, I don't really look at comments until I do this show with you. Right, right. And so this is my ego just getting smacked (laughs) around because people hate me. Uh, You and me both, buddy. You and me both. That's fine. Like they say, haters are going to hate. Hate, hate, hate. Hate, hate, hate. (laughs) All right. For those who are just joining and are saying, what are they talking about? Well, this show is the second in a series of Flat Earth comments, the sort of uh, version that we've got of mean tweets. And we've collected them from previous shows of Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, The Secret Show with Mark and I. And we started with our first secret shows, and then we're kind of working our way toward our current ones, taking some of the low down dirtiest comments we can find and a few nice ones just to give it balance and so we don't commit harry carry here live on screen um yeah and put it all together and we also have involved alcohol into the mix yeah because that's really the only way i'm going to do this show (laughs) it's just and and remember this is different from mean tweets mean tweets is very short because you have to pack all the insults into what 100 and 200 and something characters i don't even know i don't have twitter Right, right. But so you guys can you guys can write half a book. We're not going to read an entire book, but like these first two comments, I'll read the first one. I mean, is is pretty All long. Right, we'll start with you, but first we should start with the alcohol. Today's right. beverage of choice is show shiku by namasake, organic vegan sake. Am I going to drink this whole bottle myself? No. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yes, she no, will. She'll drink, probably drink too much on this show. Kind of like well, she that drank that last time. horribly obscure uh, liquor the last time. We've got 15% alcohol by volume. And what makes it vegan is any alcohol can be non-vegan if it's filtered using the swim bladder of a fish. Now, they can use other things to filter alcohol, beer, wine, sake, whatever. But right. some companies choose to use the swim bladder of a fish. And a swim bladder isn't a bladder that holds urine. When you think of bladder, that's what you think of. A swim bladder is what keeps the fish buoyant. So it's all about the buoyancy. Uh, but we're not using fish. This was filtered with other substances to make it vegan. And I'm having it cold. For those who know about sake, you can have it hot or cold. There are purists who find one way to be the right one and the other one to be the wrong one. I'm just right. having it this way because it's pretty warm in Houston, 100 degrees. And I've right. got my wooden sake cup here. So let's let it rip. <laughs> <laughs> And I am, I, on the other hand, will will drink anything really with an alcohol content in it. So aftershave is what you're having? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> some some brute from about 1977. <laughs> oh my gosh. One of my first high school boyfriends, you know, just that kind of high school thing where you're, it's not intimate, let's just say, wore brute. And whenever I smell someone passing by wearing that, I think of that guy. His name was yeah. Harry Francis Morgan III. Uh Sense, as you know, is um, the sense of smell yes. is the only thing that's tied to directly tied to memory. I smell brute, and I think of that guy, and yeah, yeah immediately. So, yeah. luckily, right. yeah. yeah. Uh, well, anyway, so I, I was going to drink my neighbor's blackberry wine. Oh, nice! But was going to, except that the uh, cork that he used was piece of crap. So I was, was having trouble it was with cork, it. Cork, does they say? I think. Yeah, it was. Okay. So what I did was I just grabbed a bottle of Chardonnay and opened it real quick and just started drinking it. Well, so it's. I'm sorry, I, I I can't have the blackberry wine with you at this point. I know that's what you said you were going to have, but I will have it next time. I will I've spend. I've never had blackberry wine. I think it'd be cool to drink something made by a neighbor. I've had um, a, a friend of mine makes bathtub gin actually, so I've had that. And ba- that you mean bathtub meth? No, 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 no. He's a he's an eye doctor, and he makes gin in his bathtub. Very it's really weird. You think you could afford not being a meth dealer? But... No, no. <laughs> he does it because he just likes doing artistic things, like creative creative things. So, wait, bathtub gin is that a real thing? Yeah, he makes it. I mean, you you can make it into a very large. That's uh, really that's like old school. I've heard of people actually doing that. Yeah, he made it made it himself with old style ancient recipes. So. 
Let me go into the live chat and say hello to everyone before we begin, because there is a chance of the tipsy aspect happening and maybe me not being able to operate my cell phone at that point. It's very possible. <laughs> now I actually while you're doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute or I'm gonna be back in one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah go ahead. Go ahead. I preface this by saying that I do not recommend people abuse alcohol. I don't have an alcohol problem. I rarely drink. The last time I drank was last month when we did this show. Um, but I am drinking on this show, and so is Mark. And if this is something that you find offensive or you find not flat or oriented, then just click the X and go to another uh, video. But I do appreciate you stopping by. And please leave me a thumbs up on the way out. Anyway, shameless self-promotion. Um, let me go in here and start at the top of the live chat with Andres. I missed all the people who were in here earlier because the live chat, for those who don't know, uh, it, it scrolls and then it, the older comments go right off the screen. So Andres, hello. Um, hey, I own a plane and I saw your recent video and love it. He's been doing lots of filming of the skyline and chemtrails sometimes. Masquerade says, hi, y'all. Uh, Little Flatty says, what y'all drinking today? Well, we've kind of already said. We've got Hi Fruity You, who sends love and says hi. Fred Montana and Ramsey Phipps. He's having water, which is probably the safest choice. Um, let's see. As long as it's not fluoridated. Drink responsibly. <laughs> exactly. Dina says, Mark is so sensitive. We love you, Mark and Miss Dear. XOXO. That's because you were saying that you, uh, you know, you need to drink to be able to handle the hate, which is untrue because you handle the hate like a champ. You actually don't care about the hate. I don't. Well, that's just it. I don't care to the point where I don't read the comments because I don't care. But since you have coerced me into reading oh, some coerced? of it. Coerced? Oh, 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 okay. Sorry, what's the better term? Arm twisted. Arm twisted. Forced. Gun to head. Extorted. <laughs> uh, cajoled. Um, browbeat. Right. Yeah. Blackmailed. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. X Stranger XX is here as well. And Save Our Future America and Humanity says, hello, Flat Earthlings. Hey to Mark Ofsky in the chat who is saying that uh, Marks, including himself and you, have a hard time on this plane. Uh, Ryan in North Carolina says, hello, everyone, and greetings from beautiful flat North Carolina, the home of the Flat Earth Conference coming up. And yep. uh, we're hoping that there could be potentially a possibility of unlocking the ability to maybe get some more people in because it's sold out. But we don't know yet. If we are able to figure that out and get more people involved, we'll let you know. Um, Carly Sunshine is here as well. Zenith ABC Deadlock is here. Lee Redpath, Udu San, and uh, Laura LaRue, and uh, Alexandra Sasha Mexico, who told me to call him Mexico, and so I shall. Uh, Osher 06, OBL Music. And uh, OBL says, I was here for the very first show back in the mid 90s. Uh, 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 huh? Mandela effect <laughs> going on. <laughs> mid 90s? <laughs> Maybe we were doing shows back in the when we were, we, uh, Well, I'd be a little tough to do since we can't, you can't do video. And I don't in think the mid, they, in the mid 90s, there wasn't a do. bandwidth. <laughs> But um, thank you for, for saying that. Yeah. Little flatty comments to my. Uh, my comment that I just mentioned a little while ago about fish swim bladders and says, gross. Idu San says, organic sake. And uh, let's see. Ukdina says, oh no, Patricia, you're drinking sake. I've seen people loaded on sake. So have I. I saw a perfectly normal, reasonable girlfriend of mine in a very nice Japanese restaurant go from demure to utterly ballistic, yelling at the waiter. I had to literally drag her out of the restaurant. We're, Why? We're not Why? friends anymore. Never. <laughs> if somebody treats a waiter or waitress or anybody who's serving you and helping you poorly, drunk or sober, that's a sign of their character. That's a sign to stay away from that person. Have you never been to Vegas? I have been to Vegas several times, unfortunately. Well, I don't, I'm not a big Vegas person. Huh. Do people treat wait staff? Uh, I, I'm guessing you went to bed early because after midnight at, in Vegas, all bets are off. Yeah, well, you should but, always treat others regardless if they're serving you or not. In fact, I'd hate well, to be a cop in Vegas. That would be a tough game. Yeah, it would be bad. Uh, Carly likes uh, sake, she says. Um, Israel Adams says, I think 15 proof, not percent, Patricia. Oh, yeah, 15 proof. No, 15 let me proof? see. 15 proof? 
No, it's ALC 15%. ALC. Alcohol, alcohol content. content alcohol 15% content. by volume. I don't know oh, what that not, means. That's good. That's good. Yeah, this that's isn't let's, that that's little, little more than wine. Yeah. Wine comes in at 12, 13, depending. My and neighbor's last, comes in at 17, 18. Last time I did the show with you, I drank uh, a, a a coffee liqueur and it had less con alcohol content than your wine. So you're the alky, not me. <laughs> <laughs> why, why don't you quit drinking, Dad? Because I'm not a quitter. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Hello to Frank Bocchiccio. He's so nice. Michael Connor, uh, to Mayus as well. Uh, Osher 06 is showing a picture of a shot glass, which looks like it's got scotch in it. Scotch, one of those drinks could never get into. I understand the the peaty quality in Scotland and all of that. It's just when I smell it, it gives me full body shivers. Not for me. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's, I do. I do. <laughs> it's too strong. It gives you the heebie-jeebies. Yeah. The and willies. The, and the boogie-woogie flu, most definitely. Oh my God. Uh, I hate a ginger Where? shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Still no. um, you know what if my father were not dead and he were alive today and he were sitting here with me i swear my father and my personality when you and i talk anyway we have a lot of the same characteristics and when i say certain things as they're coming out of my mouth i think of my dad which is a nice thing mm -hmm. being that it was father's day just the other day okay. um timaeus hey martin leakey alex george george giadis why can't I pronounce that? I'm not I even drinking know. yet. But anyway, Alex, thank you for being here. Captain Rob is here as well, and Human Clan as well. And uh, did I mention Raised by Gypsies? Maybe, maybe so. The Secret Painter is here. Don't tell anyone. CC and Fred Montana is here, who's in Montana, go figure. Mr. Drobot is here. Uh, Luis Torres and Israel Adams, who we mentioned as well. Um, Daniel Reza. And uh, Law of Attraction. I actually believe in the Law of Attraction to some degree, most definitely. Um, Road FFM, Research Flat Earth is here. And Monique Menicheki. Sorry, Monique. <sighs> flat power and flat love, she says, though. N-A-P-I-G-S-I -I says hello. James Hicksbosen is here. Um, who else? Who else? Dina witted is here a lot of people attracted by the uh, mean part of this show and the drinking so you guys are i don't know masochists they are <laughs> um emily 1922 ryan in north carolina i already mentioned ramsey fibs and the uh, mv r-o-r-m-c you know what i hate to just not mention somebody delta nine is here too um sir vev 2010 and Glenn Bordeaux, Ignite Train One, interesting name, pretty cool. Zell Sternick, um, Brian Hugh Griffith, and Toto Cult. Hello, Toto. I should give Toto Cult, who is one of the mods in um, uh, Infinite Plane Society's chat, a, a, a spanner or what a you know wrench Ready. he is a fantastically quick wrencher, but we don't really have many problems here, and we don't block people or kill people we we just put them in times out even right. after warning them it's pretty mellow here pretty mellow i don't even have that many uh, moderators okay i think i've made it to the end oh fud motion says not a fan of regular sake but i love plum sake which i've never had all right we are ready let's do it all oh, right one more time northern ninja Seriously. wake the sheeple and joseph lynch just showed up so hey to all of you all right I will mention other people later. I do appreciate everyone being here. So if you give the video a thumbs up, that would be helpful to the channel. And uh, even if you give the video a thumbs down, it, you know, it's nice. Just that people are paying any attention at all. To the two of us crazy kids, Mark. All right, I'm going to start with a toast, which we did, I think, last time too. Or we should have. Yes. So the what toast. shall we toast to? Shall we uh, toast to the flatness? Uh, the... Uh, the future ghost of Mad Mike. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Mad Mike, the guy who's going to be on the balloon slash rocket that's going to go way up high pretty God soon, I believe in August. Soul. Yes. No, he's fine. He's fine. Uh, oh. For more information on that, see uh, Infinite Playing Society. He ta often talks of, of Mad Mike, and I'm going to be interviewing him, him soon, but we have had issues with getting him set up on Google Hangouts. So let's um, toast to... The flatness and the all flatness. here on flat earth 
enjoying time with each other and this awakening and all the awesome things and kind of crazy things it brings. Awesome. To our health. To our health. Death to all who oppose us. <laughs> <laughs> I did that deliberately. I was hoping you'd get a spit take out of you. That would be bad because I have a laptop open here, my MacBook, and it would ruin it. And we'd go zzz, 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 off the air. This is very hard to drink compared to the delicious chocolatey liqueur I had last time. But I'll take it for the team. Wow. Okay. Mm. Wait, let me just finish this. Really? Just to get ready. You know, like. Well, I'm reading first. You can drink and I can read. I want to read along with you, right? Because it's hard to keep track because if you don't keep track, you get your place lost. All those words and spaces. I know. And paper and concentrating. Yeah, you print them out. That's the weird thing. I just put it, well, I have a big monitor. So I put it on right. the screen and then I just blow up the font. So no matter how much I drink, pretty sure I can read it. Well, we're going to hope. So, I've got my contact in and this is printed with a larger font. Uh, house tarantula. Banana. House tarantulas? <laughs> no, I have no, Okay, you ready? That would so, be a good band name. The House Tarantulas. The House Tarantulas. That's good. All right. Episode. So we're going to start with, you guys want to follow along. And these are real comments, not Unfortunately. fake comments. <laughs> They're still there, not deleted. This All one's right. from episode 129, and it is yeah. from That's John, five months ago, by the way. Five months John, ago. John Saxer, five months ago. We're, we're slowly but surely catching up. John Saxer writes, it was fun, but it's over, Mark Sargent. You're demoted to Mark Private because your truth is false. Excellent job of carrying the BS to the nth degree. Even the elect were somewhat deceived by you and your team. Jump on board to my righteous with apologies for your stupidity and misdirection of mankind's time and efforts that I do not do as I am the supreme royal as incarnated into so as to be... Seriously, there's no punctuation... To be the undisputed leader of the wealthy elite as I do own Switzerland, and I am that I am going to make changes for the divine better in the banking industry as well as the political goodies and not to forget about the satanic leadership of the Catholic Church. Exclamation point. That was Take really a breath. <laughs> Keep going. See the death card of the tarot deck and have it analyzed as I, Vishnu's manifestation, shall see no opposition as I am that I am Wisdom King Johannes Christian von Hohan, Sax von Sax of Switzerland, and 1.2 billion Anglo-Saxons and you as well, because I accept all righteous individuals of any faith or race or political persuasion who are awake. End of comment. That's, I mean, if it were written in all caps, I would have thought it might be Math Power Land. <laughs> this, yes, there you go. If it was all caps with no paragraph breaks, that uh, would be no. that. But, wow. but, and keep in mind, this is why we don't do the Twitter versions. Yeah, because the, you, couldn't, you couldn't get a tenth of that in there. Hold on. We have a Flynn the cat uh, emergency, Sighting. emergency, but he's trying to go into the sake. So hold, hold on, everyone. Really? Do you want me to read the second one? Okay. You have the second one. It's really short. I get the third one, though. So, okay. Oh, wait. I'm here. Here's Flynn, and he's being bad. He's so curious, but we don't want him to get into the sake because that would just not be good for cats. Oh, and I'm not wearing a robe. If anyone's going to do the... She's wearing a robe. It's a kimono, Japanese kimono. Uh, you know, I was wondering if you were going to match up your outfit to the drink. Yeah, it goes with the drink. There you go. It's not a robe. I remember there was a nightgown gate when, on one of our other shows. People were saying something I was wearing was a nightgown. Other than t-shirts, I'd like to challenge anyone to do a video compilation of Patricia's wardrobes and find me any instance where she wears the same thing twice. When I was in the UK, I only had some of my clothes, and so I wore a lot of the same stuff. So. That doesn't count if you took part of your wardrobe. That whole event didn't count. Anyway, seriously, the budget they give you is ridiculous. <laughs> Don't say why that. does Patricia get preferential treatment because <laughs> she wears clothes better than you. Why does that even matter? It's a freaking <sighs> anyway. Go ahead. So you get the second one. All right. This is from the it's short Eschaton Don seven months ago who writes, Patricia, are you a juggalo? 
J-U-G-G-A-L-O. Now, I think I know who those are. Those are people who like a certain kind of music that's played in live concert events. I'm going to look this up. I don't know. Look it up. I don't know the name of the band. If you, When you say the name of the band, I'll be like, yeah, it's that band. Um, it's not a band that I favor. And what there's people who juggalos? follow that band who are known as Juggalos. And there's a wiki entry on this. Yeah, it's a whole thing. But why would anybody think I was one? I think. Oh, actually, young, the, he, young okay. First, first off, he's wrong in that there's a feminine version called a juggalette. Oh, so I would be a juggalette. Or juggala in Spanish-speaking countries is a name given to fans of the group Insane Clown Posse. That's it, Insane Clown Posse. Yep. Or any other psychopathic records hip hop group. So Juggalos have developed their own idioms, slang, and characteristics. Uh, started I, in 1994. Yeah, I was going to say, I remember it in the 90s, and I don't know anybody who was one, but I think it's a lot of drunk people who go to concerts and act really trashy. So that comment makes absolutely no sense. Oh, yeah. In fact, real quick, real quick, drinking and spraying the inexpensive soft drink Fago, never heard of it, listening to horror core and other types of underground rap music, wearing face paint, generally those either like a clown or perhaps similar to corpse paint, wearing hatchet gear, having a hatchet man loop applied. No idea even what a hatchet gear is. You mean like a, we sound so old, we don't know. Hatchet, hatchet gear, what's that? <laughs> this internet people keep talking about doing hair in the spider leg style. Oh, well, that would be me. Displaying the gesture of wicked clown, making and responding to whoop whoop calls. <laughs> well, everyone knows whoop whoop. Who calls. does it? Who I always respond. I know you do, Mark. Seattle, represent. <laughs> All <laughs> right. Said. Okay. I'm having a little more here. Okay. So I'm going to read the third one. All right. Wait, it is from. Here. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm ready. Okay. I'm this ready. is from Al. Chemica Blackwood is seven months ago, mm -hmm. still from 139 or 129. Mm. Cheers. I like how Patricia's mic is phallic shaped while Mark looks like he's gently grasping and speaking into a boob. <laughs> it's little things like this that convince me that we're dealing with two normal, well adjusted individuals here. Yeah. Also, I hate to bring up old wounds between these two, but it really was Mark's epic man card for life two girl hotel video <laughs> that chiseled him into the Mount Rushmore of flat earthers. I'm just happy to see that the once crestfallen Patricia has smoothed her ruffled feathers and put it all behind her. Wow. Wow. I'm going to show crestfallen right now. Here's me normal. Here's me crestfallen. <laughs> <laughs> Which didn't really happen. It wasn't because he was with two girls that that all happened. It's because we had a miscommunication. Yes. yes. And now we've had a recommunication and everything's ace. Hunky dory. Yeah. As it were. Now we're now we're reading each other's horrible comments. <laughs> no, now we're all oh, you, kind you of should insulting each other. You should anyway, enjoy this one. Yeah. Now this is from episode 133, seven months ago. And this person I don't believe is a real person. I believe is a troll who is all over my comments and your comments. Uh, they don't have a they don't have a channel per se, um, but they could be a real person. I don't know. I mean, every even a troll is a real person. But you know what I'm trying to say. Here it is, Patricia. You are a dirty, manipulative Jezebel. Shame on you from decent women. <laughs> uh, shame on me for what? I don't do anything indecent. Cheers. <laughs> so, yeah. So, apparently, you, you're not scoring well with the Amish community. Exactly. Or the people who have brain injuries. <laughs> wow. All right. You're next. Uh, a voter from seven months ago, still episode 133. Please use split screen. Switching back and forth makes the cat sick. <laughs> okay. We need to get into the split screen because I am not into making the cat sick. In fact, I'm what, what's against his it. cat? The, the cat. cat? The cat? The cat that's watching this on television? I think maybe his cat watches us and gets ill with the splits, with the uh, switching back and forth that it, we have on our show. I don't know why. 
Well, I think he's just saying it because it's fun. I mean, that's standard editing. I mean, yeah, you can do split screens and crap for like news events, but but I mean, it's a it's kind of dealer's choice. You can go back most of the time. I see back and forth unless you're again you using your hand a little few more times there because that was like a lot. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. By the way, I'm this far away from the camera. All right, here we go. We're not even drunk yet, by the way. Oh, I don't think we're supposed to get drunk, to be honest. Tipsy, slightly inebriated. There you go. Yes. Um, here we go from John Thinkpad, seven months ago. He writes, why did you have to record and upload this, quote, friendly reunion, unquote, chat? You could have had a private chat instead. What a waste of time. And he spelled friendly wrong. Well, he called it friendly. <laughs> the L thing is, is that it, yeah. when Mark and I talk, it's not a friendly reunion. It's just Mark and I talking. And then pretty much this is how we're talking when we're not being recorded or on a live show. It's just right. like this. Yeah, pretty much. Without the drinking. You're Without back. the drinking. Episode, yeah, we rarely drink while we're, while we're talking. The um, episode 135 from Wisdom Keeper Cheyenne from six months ago. I do not want to hear about vampires and what lovely shirts and blouses we are wearing. Please cut to the chase. And on that note, I am wearing a lace blouse underneath a kimono. And if you don't like it, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, oftentimes I do or you do mention stuff I'm wearing. You know, that's just part of the show. Well, um, that's because you are several octaves higher in a fashion conscious well, conscience sense because than me. since i was a little girl i've been into fashion i would have vogue magazines when i was very young and all these other fashion no, magazines and no, cut, I, cut out the pictures I, I even cut out the pictures in my high school bedroom from vogue magazine of pictures of things i liked or fashion i liked what um and 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 used glue which my mom didn't really appreciate and glued them to my walls you know, I didn't have frames or anything. Then when I moved out, when I was 19, right after high school graduation, uh, when I pulled them off the wall, it destroyed the wall, which didn't go down very well with my parents. But, you know, I ended up owning a clothing store. I have a lot of clothes and I'm into fashion. However, as a person who was in the matrix with all of that stuff, oops, sorry, hit my mic. Uh, I've come out of the matrix, but I still have that like for art, design, style, architecture, that doesn't make me any less a person who's interested in getting to the truth. We all come here from the background we had before we got here. Uh, many of us could be maybe like a farmer or a uh, businessman or a lawyer or a doctor or an artist or whatever it is we were before we found out the truth. We have that as part of us. And continuing forward with our, our personalities and flat earth truth is totally great. That's what makes this so amazing. The awakening has many different types of people. So. Well said. Yeah. Um, hmm, it's up to me here Banford. with Richard Banford six months ago who says, hello, Mark. Are you a fraud as well? I know Patricia is, and you're becoming very suspect. Really disappointed if you are. I know the earth is flat, but why the fraud from you guys? <laughs> What's he talking about? I get those questions actually quite often, and they're just so – it's such a generic question. Are you a fraud? Okay, you might as well ask me, am I a spy? Right. It, because if I was, I'm not going to tell you. Mm. And mm. if I wasn't, I probably wouldn't tell you. Other than say that I, I you know, you can't, you're not going to be able to prove it either way. Am I a fraud? It's, you have to go into more detail than that. You can't just have half a bottle of whiskey and then shoot me that comment. Right. Or you will be fraud. And, and besides, if you didn't, Patricia is a fraud. I mean, guaranteed. 100% yeah, I mean, case closed, RIP. Please show your roof. No one ever has, and no yeah. one ever will. Hey, look, we've been doing this for two years now. If someone's got any proof that we're frauds and horrible people and charlatans and all this other stuff, pony up. I don't exactly. care who you are. Pony up. What do you got? We're waiting you like this. I'm waiting like this with my arms crossed with like one foot tapping. Do, 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 looking at the and, clock. And don't do, don't do, uh, sorry, I'm, I'm going to throw this one out there. Don't do the very lame i'm going you know in three days i'm going to expose them that's just ratings oh. that's nothing that means you've got <laughs> nothing because if if you had something you would have done it not today but a long yeah. long time ago yeah. it's it's the whole uh high school i'm going to kick your ass tomorrow 
like there's a certain person who says who said recently i read a comment on some other video that they're going to expose us come christmas time <laughs> i'm like you know what what about now now, would be, June. now, now would be good <laughs> June. if you've got something on me bring it maybe there's they're talking more. about christmas in july you know that thing that people talk about people have had it's in fact, now there's so much more content on the internet. Go ahead, look wherever you want. Uh, anyway, sorry. Um, um, I do want to say, uh, I do want to go back into the live chat and just say hi to people, and then we'll continue. And you, you're next, by the way. Uh, what do we've got? We've got. Oh my god, the chat's moving so fast. Um, uh, Patricia knows what Fago is. Yes, I do. Oh, you mentioned Fago early with the Jugaloo or Jugaloo thing. Fago Jugaloo. is a soft drink. I forgot to mention that. Uh, it's a soft drink that was popular in many parts of the United States, specifically the Midwest. And when I lived in the Midwest, uh, Fago orange drink. Uh, it's just a, it's a soft drink. That's Head, you know how soft drinks are. Detroit. Yes, exactly. That's because I lived in Michigan. So Fago would be what we would drink. Okay, my mother would never let us really drink soft drinks, but. When we'd be hanging out with my father, when my mom was home, we would be out uh, go, going to the pool, just doing whatever we were doing. My dad would indulge us. And Fago is, uh, is what we call pop. <laughs> That's what they call it in the Midwest. They don't call it soda like they do in some other areas, uh, but they call it pop. Soda. We, pop. Call it, we called it both. And actually, I've seen commercials for both. Right. Remember Shasta, they're one of their commercial series. I want a pop. I want a Shasta. Yes, exactly. Oh, I'm totally I think up pop is now. weird. That's a weird. Really? Here's something gross. I'll so no, it's it. it's a it's soda pop. I know, but here's something gross. When I was growing up, my uh, this is gross. Uh, it's not going to be gross, is it? Yes, it is sort of. Okay, so my when I was growing up, my mother was very much into manners and acting with decorum and all of that, and taught no. that to my sister and brother and I. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so my mother told us because we were walking in a mall and my mother all of a sudden was like, oh, people in front of us had belched. No. Farted? Yes. And my you mother's. You can't see the word, can you? Oh my God. My mother said, well, this, well, no, I can't. Straight from the spaceship to the radio station. <laughs> no. My mother always referred to that as, <laughs> this is so stupid, popping. Oh no! Don't, there's, there's don't pop in public. Popping. My sister and brother and I, we always knew the word fart, of course, and we would roll our eyes into the back of our head. And when she would say pop, oh, it would just—you know how your mother can sometimes. Even I love my mother; she's amazing. Yeah, I wish she were still here. But pop would just annoy us when she would say that. Ben, you've been, been exposed to a lot of toilet humor. <laughs> no, I, I think it's. Do you, do you know what stewardess is when they have to pass gas? What they call it when they slowly stewardesses? release? Stewardesses? Yeah, stewardesses. You know, they have to do this every once in a while. Right. And they do it slowly but surely as they're walking down the aisle. You know what they call it? Crop dusting. Oh, my gosh. Really? Never heard that. Yeah. You know, I've been on some very long flights, and the smell in airplanes is revolting. So, yeah, it's probably the stewardesses or flight attendants, as they call them now. We have got to get you a castle soon because um, I don't know how you're even <laughs> handling it out there. Okay, it's my turn, I, right? Well, wait, I want to say hello to Tip of the Beak <laughs> um, and Crazy Fat Flat Lady as well and A Life and other people who are in here. And people are just saying all sorts of fun things. And I wish I could read uh, the... Um, <laughs> I could read the whole thing. Uh, Monique Menike says that I should take a shot every single time someone says a tweet or you know comment that makes me uh, laugh. That I would be really drunk by then. Not not drunk yet at all because I've only had one in this glass. So. And again, remember she, Patricia weighs a lot less than I do. I no five last I checked. Yeah, I'm double that and change. So wait, how tall are you? Six. Two. Two. Yeah. Okay. So, and I'm five, six and a half, wishing I were five, seven. So, yeah. But that means, again, you know, the body weight thing, you're way, way. Yeah. I, I don't have a lot yeah. of fat on me. Because otherwise, if you're six, two, you'd be th about two foot 11 if you <laughs> wanted to match up. In... I'd be a little person. Yeah. Actually, I think that's that. That's a Stephen Wright joke. He, he wasn't, what was it? He wasn't a, um, 
he was something he was like a like a dwarf gnome or something that in Stephen Wright's joke he was this tall he posed for trophies anyway I like Stephen Wright a lot but I recently revisited a lot of his videos on YouTube not recently maybe like a year ago and I didn't find him as funny as I did originally when he came out because some humor doesn't transcend time some of his does some of his does oh and I go still back, think he's great go, I, you know what I will send you his his big album I Have a Pony from the from the mid eighties yeah it it forged from the 80s it forged a lot of things that i find funny that's why people i still it. use i, I have dark humor i don't really i just you know i like stephen wright i mean i didn't like uh gallagher i mean that formed my personality well that, that's the type different. of humor that you that you you respond to right so that's why i don't like bathroom humor or you know gallagher style you know humor. It. it's not my Got thing it. okay so victor rodriguez said some months back that redhead witch works for the government who keeps tabs on all flat earth believers. Don't let her fool you or interview us. They want gather information on us. You want to read the response? Uh, yes, this is a response uh, from that. Marv Wolf six months ago. He says, hey, Victor Rodriguez, YouTube is part of Google, so they don't need Patricia to do that. You're doing it for them. Also, Patricia isn't a witch. She's a vampire. Get your facts straight. <laughs> yes. Awesome. That's an awesomely funny comment. I yeah. love when people come back with something just as absurd as the original comment. Yeah. If you had, you had, you don't really have strong canines, but if you did, oh yeah. Wait, do I wait? No, not really. I mean, yeah, it's a little, yeah. it's it's more let, werewolf. Wait, let me see here. No, Somebody's not like gonna screenshot this. It'll look like we're like going. <laughs> no, no, it's hey, no. Yours aren't. No, super. mine are a little stronger than yours. It's true. Yeah, yeah. You know, by the way, folks, canine teeth from vegan perspective that I've got, not that I'm pushing it, are not put in our faces tearing meat. They're for biting into things like apples and such. All right, end of the vegan message. Got you're it. next. Sorry, oh, as I'm doing that. Oh, you're pouring more. That's right. Wait, what, what, what do you, what, let's see the brand. Oh, no, no, it's nothing. It's cheap stuff. Well, I mean, it's okay. Right, but... it's, it's just, it's just yellowtail. Uh, oh, you, yellow, you know, yeah. A good casual everyday. Lots model. of people drink this. Yes. I've seen it before. From Lots Australia. Australia has great wine. I lived in uh, Sonoma and Napa before, which are counties and cities uh, mm -hmm. at, in the nineties. Actually, I was working for a radio station there for those who care called KVON. KVYN, KVYN Vine, get it? Uh, it was an AM, FM. I worked for the AM and the FM a long time ago. And uh, they were very wine centric as the radio station goes. They did lots of wine play on words. And I was right there in the Napa Valley. And, and I lived in Sonoma during some of that period and Napa in the other part. And I really love living there. It's incredibly beautiful. If you haven't had a chance, if you live in the States, or even if you live in the uk or wherever to visit napa valley it's really 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 beautiful it's a gorgeous place and hot air balloon rides that's a thing there and if i knew now if i knew then what i knew now i would have looked at the flat earth oh. well so would have i all right the jack black oh uh, that person one of, one of our favorites yes <laughs> Who's not a real person? Who's a troll? Not a real. Not, not. It's not really Jack Black. Oh, and Jack Black has a picture of Neil deGrasse Tyson as the icon. Yeah. Mark, how can you not see Patricia's true face? You're a smart man. Learn your enemies. And we'll be hearing a little more from Jack Black later. <laughs> and Martha Carr. Those are the two huge haters that we've got. You know what? I would rather be deceived by Patricia than most others. Right. So I'll, I'll take that. Yeah. All right. Fine. Yeah. I'll work on that. <laughs> what? It's just saying. Just, why, why wouldn't I? Here we go with Dr. Wappa six months ago who says, Mark, what were you sniffing right at the start before you realized how hot she looks? <laughs> Whoa. Why'd you give me that one to read? That's embarrassing. Uh, well, no, I didn't give it to you, Rita. We were just alternating. Um, oh, yeah. the, what does that even mean? What were you sniffing? I don't know. What was I sniffing right before the start? right at the start before you realized how hot she looks so i was doing drugs i don't know maybe maybe he, he was watching me do this or something i don't oh, know yeah yeah maybe winky we put he put a winky face at the end of it oh so he's so, just joking it's maybe I, like an, a nice compliment so this is a nice comment right thank I guess goodness it. thank goodness finally 
Uh, Kerwin Augustine says, Mark Blushing, he's not a robot. <laughs> That's good. Were people ever considering wait, that wait, you were oh, a robot? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, and then there's a reply to that. Mark oh, Blushing. Yes, yes. Right. Mark Blushing, he's not a robot. I don't, I've never been accused of that, but somebody responded. Zenith ABC Deadlock says, no, he is. They've re-updated the software. <laughs> Funny. Uh, I keep thinking of that uh, that line from Neo where he, in the second one, where he blocks one of the guy's hits and he realizes it's different. And he goes, oh, upgrades. Uh, mm. um, let's see here. This Here's... is me, right? Nope. Oh, well, is it? No. Nope. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I read the response. Oh, do you want, do you want that next one? Uh... You, you you do it. Okay. <laughs> Space Time Continuum says, will the next episode of this farce be Melody comes down from Canada and sprays you both with a machine gun? Or should I await some M. Night Shyamalan type twist? Either way, good times. Good times. <laughs> That's a pretty funny comment. Actually. That is pretty funny. Yeah, actually. As, if, as if Melody, your now ex-girlfriend, would be jealous of you and I doing shows together. Right. She, she never was while you guys were a couple. And, Plus, she doesn't own a gun. And no, that's not the case. And but I, I'm a big fan of M Night Shyamalan. So right. Plot, and plot space, twist. space time continuum. I mean, I've got to admit that's a pretty funny comment. I mean, if you're yep. gonna troll, troll well, my friends. Mm. Troll well. I hate bad trolls. Give me something yeah. good. Better be funny. If you're gonna troll, you better be funny. And spell correctly. You spell yeah. In fact, if you want to get on this list. Come up with some good stuff. Right. You can't. I mean, every once in a while you can put in, Mark, you suck. And I, they might go in. Right. But, but come on, be clever. Yeah, we'll never read it here because, I mean, that's not even funny or it's, amusing. That's yeah, standards um, for God's sakes or not. Yeah, kidding. we have some standards, although people don't think we do. We do. <laughs> We're award-winning CIA writers for God's sakes. Exactly. Episode 137. The awards were in the agency, but still, <laughs> they're awards. T. Lou <laughs> says from six months ago, how old is Patricia Steer? Are you banging her, Mark? I would if I were you. And she was willing, of course. <laughs> <laughs> because we all know we don't condone rape when we're We don't people. condone rape. <laughs> By all means, let's, let's, you, yeah. you should ask before right. you do that. So you want to bang? What does it matter, by the way, how old I am in this? I think he's curious. No, because you're, you're deceiving. I'm you deceiving. Don't. Well, well, I, I'm sorry. I mean, you're deceptive. Wait, you lie to people. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm not saying Great, it's coming right. out wrong. Uh, I mean, the, fired. <laughs> you have the my agency call your agency. I mean, I don't trust you. God, why am I still talking? The uh, what <laughs> I mean is, the show. <laughs> what, I, what I mean is is that from first glance, lots of people have asked this before. They said, "How old are you exactly?" Because you you don't you can't tell. Well, you really, I mean, you, you can really tell I'm tell. not 18, 19, or 20. No, you can tell that you're not 18, 19. You can tell I'm not in my 30s, you know? Eh, okay, so 40s-ish. But it I'll really take depends. that. That would be a lovely compliment. 54, yeah. born in 1963. Yeah. Yeah, I have well never, deserved. and people, uh, by the way, this is me kissing your ass for a second. No, oh, thank you. I love that because this whole thing that we're reading, there's been no ass kissing thus far. Well, I mean, it's your show, so I'm really obligated. The and and, all, that, and they told you that you had to anyway in the contract. Yeah, yeah exactly. Where is the damn thing? If you don't stick to it. I mean, there could be a drone strike. Paragraph seven, subsect four. Yeah. It's there. Yeah, it's blow, there. Blow, blowing smoke up the hostess. Host. It's mandatory. It says mandatory. mandatory. Yeah, I get it. I get. It. Okay, so the point is, is that. I challenge anybody, seriously, find me a celebrity, non-celebrity, find me somebody. Yeah, I mean, every once in a while, you'll find a playmate. It's like, she's 52, can you believe that? But that's rare. You know, find me someone that has kept her looks as well as you. Find me somebody. That's my yeah. challenge. So there's, that's, that's, that, I, that's contractually based. But I, And there's all, there's all these sort of trolley comments that we haven't got to yet that are more in the future because we're reading ones from you know, six months ago now that are saying, oh, look at all the plastic surgery. No plastic surgery on my face. Sorry. Um, believe what you want. Don't care. Not bothered. Well, I, you know what? I, let, let, me, let, me, let me linger on this for one second. Do you want the biggest tip that I've gotten from women over the years? 
you know, people that, you know, if I knew then what I know now, and that is, and I'm sure you followed it. It's like the, one of the biggest things you want to keep yourself. Sun, the sun. The sun. Now, Stay the sun is great for you. It's fantastic for you. But depending on your skin tone, there's a certain limit that you reach where the getting the vitamin D and the wonderful benefits the sun provides will cause a lot of photo aging. And I have sure. very light skin. So I use natural sunscreen. And yeah. if you don't know what that is, you can use coconut oil. That provides a, a, a lower level sun protection factor. Now, if but you go I, to your I'm grocery known- store and buy it, the sunscreen in there will literally probably give you cancer. What I'm but, saying is it's yeah. not that you can't go out in the sun. I mean, it's not like oh, she's yeah. a real vampire, but what I I'm didn't say- go to tanning beds or anything like that. When oh I'm yeah. Tanning. Yeah. And, but the people I've known either, both in Colorado and, and California and Florida, I mean, they, there were some people that spent a lot of their childhoods. You know, if you spent your, you know, you spent a lot of time on the beach in California when you were young without a lot of sunscreen. Yeah. You're going to pay for it later. Plain and simple. You were just going to pay for it. So Uh, my mother, like when I I grew up in Michigan, but I also had some time of my growing up years in Florida and she, when we were quite young and any vacations we went on for like a tropical vacation, slathered us in sunscreen, probably some kind of chemical stuff you use in the sixties and seventies, but covered because my sister and brother and I are all fair skinned, light eyed, redhead types. So movie movie reference, the uh, sunblock. What was it Sunblock 1000 or something like that? Oh, yeah, from, SPF from, 1000. From, Ro- from Robocop, yeah. where it made you look, and this was pre-X-Men, made you look like uh, Mystique from X-Men, the blue Well, girl. that's because it would probably have a, a high zinc content. Zinc is what old-style lifeguards would use on their nose, like a white coat. Right. 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 Um, but, yeah, uh, I recommend sunscreen, only the non-chemical variety, the non-type you buy, in the not the type you buy in your grocery store or your drugstore. If you've got light skin, otherwise enjoy the benefits of the sun. Agreed. It's good for you. They tell us it's bad for you, but it's good for you. Agreed. But staying out of it as a redhead has helped me not look. It might look fifty-two instead of fifty-four. So thanks and for the in, compliment. And in Britain, it's known as ginger, and would and they're scared of. Oh you yeah, guys. and there's lots so, of prejudice against ginger. Oh god, yes. Well, oh yeah. well, you got the devil's red hair. All right, so I'm going to tear down <laughs> well, your. Moving um, on, then right after saying that, just moving on. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I'm going to take it even one step further because the next oh, comments no. just brutal. This is from Chaos Renegade. I need please, to drink while you talk about this one. So please, no more chatty Patty and her uh, crap potatoes. I can't stand her fake ass trying to stay relevant in flat earth. Nice. Nice. And Solid. I noticed that you used the word crap instead of the word that that person uh, really you know, used. It's a family show. It is. It certainly is a family show. It's not necessarily the Osmonds, but still. Well, whatever. It's the Osmonds gone bad. And cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little bit country. I'm a little Somebody bit did rock. say that I'm a little bit country and I'm a little bit rock and roll goals with you and I, but I don't know who's who. Uh, I don't know either because I'm not a little bit Western Nashville and I don't know if you got a little bit of Motown in your soul. You know, I don't know if it's good or bad, but I know I love it. So anyway, yours is is next. This is why we love you, Mark. (laughs) Right there, that. (laughs) This is from, this is yours, Indigo Pilgrim. Yeah, Indigo Pilgrim, six months ago said, so Miss Potato, what say you about the conversation between, oh God, do I have to read this one? Oh, All no, right. read it. I'll read, read it. it. No, no, no. I'll I'm, read it. I'll read it. You can. T- I've we'll, never. We'll I've said I'd never address any of this. No, 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 ever. no. Let me read it. Let me you read go. It. You go. Okay. Read. All right. So, Indigo Pilgrim says, "So, Miss Potato, what say you?" Jeez, it's so Lord of the Rings. <laughs> what, what say, say you, you Dave? about the conversation between Matt and Anthony? Wait. Oh, are you yeah. paid by the powers that be? You never provide evidence for flat Earth, and Sergeant is definitely a strange cat withholding <laughs> things. It's in his body language and behind his eyes. You will get revealed if you're a fake, and Lord help you when you do. You may be pretty smart and popular, but if people have seen through the fake ball, they'll see through you. That was six months ago. I should have ended it with, mark my words. Or, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, that's interesting. Mm. What say me about the conversation that a certain person had with Math Powerland? Provide the evidence, dude, or shut up. Yeah. yeah. Am I next? Uh, yes, you're switching over now to episode yes. 138 for those who right. are following along at home. <laughs> exactly. And this is our favorite, the troll Jack Black. Five months ago said, 
Patricia, stop pretending you care about anybody but yourself, you poor, soulless human being. It's awesome. <laughs> It's an that's awesome, awesome. comment. It's a good. Well, yeah, I mean, good, that's good. I mean, short. That's good trolling. Quality that is good trolling. trolling. Yeah. Use, it use some, uh, yeah. It throw in some apply. adjectives. Yeah. It doesn't apply to anything we've talked about in that show. Just going in there and, I don't know, basically flipping me off. All right. Okay. <gasps> okay. So I'm trying to get ready for this next one because it's, I don't know if I should set the context. I don't know what the context is. Oh, I know what the context is. Uh, I'll set it up and then you hit it out of the park. Okay. Okay. This is about somebody who is one of my moderators, somebody I consider a friend, although we've never met, somebody I would love to eventually hang out with. Her name is Ukdina Walker. She is amazing. If you don't know her, find her in the live chat here and subscribe to her channel. If you are not listening to this live, just Ukdina Walker is her name, and you'll see her moderating other people's chats and in other people's chats from time to time. She is what I can describe is a deep, intellectual, spiritual, evolved, kind, good, quality role model of a woman. And I don't say that for very many people, let alone women. So Ukdina Walker has long, being Native American, long, dark hair, beautiful, long, dark hair, I'm jealous of. And so, therefore, this comment from this troll, go ahead. Hey, Udina, he spells it wrong. Yeah, great. Good <laughs> great, start. <laughs> great Ozzy. Yeah, he's kind of talking drunk. Great Ozzy Osbourne costume. Five exclamation points. Oh, dear. Someone's killed themselves. Well, good for him. Takes strength to kill oneself. He's dead. Enough already. More importantly, is there a small dwarf standing under Mark Sargent with his arm outstretched holding up that stupid microphone? Or is Mark truly that stupid that he hasn't bought a tripod or fixed up a stand so he is hands-free since he bought that mic months ago seriously sergeant all caps you look effing stupid and that's without the hat on <laughs> give the dwarf a rest and buy a stand wow okay okay I, i'd like to explain this Please one, do. I don't mind. Okay, look, I have one of those. It uh, has a stand. It has a built-in stand. It has stand. a stand, but it's tiny. And, and, and you, it don't have a, you don't have a table in front of you, so that's just... No, weird. no. So I can't... I'm not going to hang it from the freaking ceiling like this, because then I'd be like... Oh, blah, 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 blah. I wouldn't do that. It would and, look cool, though. It looks like Sputnik, if there was yeah, a, a weird, real thing called Sputnik. It's not necessarily a globe. It looks like some sort of weird space thing. But I got it because it has almost no noise, noise distortion. So it sounds I like, good. I like holding it, it's light for me. And it the problem is, if I could got a stand, it'd still be kind of off. I mean, my keyboard's right here, so I don't know where I put it exactly. Plus, I, I can't lean in like you. You've got kind of a special thing going. So I don't mind. I don't mind holding. It. So and plus, when I'm holding it that way, I don't have to worry about moving around and doing this. I can I can talk, and no matter what, it's because when I jam, when I when I hold it like this, it's it's fine. So I don't that, mind. I know you guys are concerned about me, but I don't mind holding it. People say that you're promoting the globe by holding a round microphone. It's white. It's not. I'm promoting the moon, maybe. It's white. <laughs> you but moon promoter. <laughs> I am. I'm promoting them, even though the moon's not actually white. It. Look, guys, yeah. I like this mic. I do. I'm not. It's either that or I'm going to do it uh, uh, Dean Martin style and get one oh, of those yeah. old school mics. Yes, I like those. This microphone, the blue bluebird I picked because it has a little bit of an old fashioned vibe to it, slightly. Yeah. And I'm used to this setup being in radio. Our mics were either like this on a desktop or hanging from the ceiling or from a, um, a boom mic stand. And it just to me, being close to it just is more familiar. And so that's why I, when I bought a mic, I didn't start with a mic. When I bought a mic, I selected this. And I know Insanity of Sanity got this mic and um, a couple other YouTubers. I can't think of their names right now. but yeah. I I have no problem with, with this mic. I love this mic, actually. Because get, because you can, I can hold it, I can, you know, if someone's not listening to me, and be like, hey, hey, you, listen to what I'm saying to you right now. It's Sputnik. You've got Sputnik. Um, I want to say hello to other people in chat before we get back. <laughs> No one can see what you're doing. You have to make noise to make the mic flip to you. What? I think it, what? Oh, you mean they can't see me in the corner? Yeah, yeah. No, uh-uh. Oh, I didn't know that's how it worked. Only when there's more than... Oh, the Google Hangouts work when there's more than two people. Then they show the stuff going on in the 
side. Um, All right. Truth Sentinel uh, is here. Morky Love and Rannick. Hey, Rannick, how are you? By the way, Rannick, R-A-N-N-I-C-K. If you've not subscribed to that channel, you should. That's a great channel with all sorts of good truth and information. I really respect what Rannick does. Not to be confused with Riddick starring Vin Diesel. Really? Oh, Vin Diesel. I had this girl, another girlfriend. I'm no, I'm no longer friends with two of my several girlfriends. Two, no more. One was the one that got drunk on sake and had to be hauled out of a nice Japanese restaurant for being rude to the waiter. The other one, uh, that girl. She was just incredibly rude to everybody. And she had a crush on Vin Diesel. I mean, I don't think she'd ever met him, but literally talked about Vin Diesel every, if I spent five hours with her, probably like 12 times she'd bring him up. Wow. So weird. Weird. Yeah. I'm no longer friends with those two women. Other women that I'm friends with here in in Houston, Texas. I I would have thought she would have been more traditional and gone along with, I don't know, Brad Pitt or... George Clooney. In Diesel, she's like, oh, he's so dreamy. He's so built and good looking. I mean, uh, you know what? It, it is cool. I mean, it's just stupid. I love the Riddick series. Don't get me wrong. I love the Riddick series. Mm-hmm. But I don't think I've even ever seen Pitch, pitch Black. Pitch Can Black. I see that? Pitch I Black so. and Riddick. And um, straight off the spaceship into the clothing store. Okay, what's next? Oh, well, I just want to say hello to those in chat and Joey Sylvie as well. Um, and uh, we've got Neon Blood who says Vicky Diesel because there's been a transvestigation. And oh, good luck. Saying <laughs> With that, that voice? Yeah. Well, there's been a transvestigation on pretty much everybody. Yeah, Vin Diesel, I don't think so. And those who believe in the transvestigations, and you know, I'm not saying that there aren't people who were other sexes, they were born other sexes and they decided to change their sex and are hiding it and that they're in the public. I'm not saying that's not happening, but Vin Diesel, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, yeah. I don't think so. No, no. It, guys, basically actors that do have their shirts off a lot. No. Matthew McConaughey, not a chick. No. Just saying. Um, let's see. Tamea says, little tip, Vin Diesel is not his real name. Yeah, that doesn't seem Shocker. like it would be your real name. But you know what? Using a fake name is cool, too. If you're a Hollywood actor or actress, oftentimes they do to make themselves seem more, Oh, yeah, and they spell uh, it wrong, too. Yeah. Yeah, to just add some jazz to their yeah. appearance or the way that people perceive them. Um, let's see. Awakened Mind is here as well. Oh, Awakened Mind says, I'm not convinced Sarah Silverman is, in fact, a man. Uh, well, I don't she's... know Sarah Silverman. I don't know her comedy well. I I mean, she may have some lesbian tendencies, but I mean, she's she's not... she's, she's got a butch side to her, no question. Not my but I don't think she, I don't think she's a dude. No, no. I mean, whatever. I I you know she, uh, personally, I I love her stuff. I've always I'm not liked a fan. Stuff. But I mean, you know what? She can do what I can't do, so I'm not going to put her down. Um, Tip of the Beak says, uh, learned about that six months ago and I'm currently growing my hair out. And oh, and that's in, and that's at Uktina Walker. And here's what that is. That grow, now I'm not saying I know this is true, but it's known among many that growing your hair out, you know, the Samson myth or sa- the story. Oh, right. Samson, strength through your long hair. Strength through your long hair. Fabio. Oh, Fabio. I'd hate to see Fabio today. Remember him on the Actually, cover of, not as bad as you might think. On the cover of magazines. And he did that, a couple of uh, advertisements for butter. Some kind of- Yeah, they can't cute. believe it's not butter. And... Yes. But anyway, Fabio, he was on a lot of romance- uh, Novel romance covers. Novels, covers. And I'd never been into romance novels. But uh, yeah, he had very long hair. And supposedly you get your strength from your long hair. Now, when I first started in Flat Earth, my hair was quite short. And people used to say I was wearing a wig. And even before Flat Earth, my hair was almost shaved short. I've had every hairstyle there is. Do I feel stronger now that my hair is longer? I don't know. I mean, I'm enjoying it long. Someday I might shave it off again. Probably not, though. Um, let's see. Ginger Sugarbush says to Uktina Walker, I have a friend at work that has hair just past her butt. And then other people are saying about hair. Everyone's talking about hair here. What do you think about that? Do you think hair gives you strength? No, but it gives you different. (laughs) Yeah, it gives you it gives you different looks. Yeah, that's true. Especially if you're women, you can do so many different things with it. That part is true. 
Men, not as much. I mean, there's still a bias against men with long hair from guys that don't have long hair. Really? So, not yeah. Not to, I'm not counting the bikers and musicians and crap like that, but they are thrown into a certain stereotype. Oh yeah. Why are people so judgmental? Uh, and now really, back yeah. to our comments. Back to our comments. <laughs> and I, I think I'm up next, right? Pam Graphics Department. Yeah, yeah, Pam Graphics Department, and she commented five months ago, and I've never heard from her since. I put her in quotes because you never know if these are real people unless you've seen them many times. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of swearing in here. Dumb bleep. Really? You're not going to say dumbass? Really? (laughs) No. Dumb bleep, bull bleep, idiots. Trying to make the flat earth truth a bleeping joke. Be ashamed. Okay. Well, I can Pam. that. Alan Buchanan says, surely I don't have to sit here and look at Mark's mug for two hours. No, you don't. But thanks for the view. Please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> I know. I'm not beautiful. You are beautiful. We're all I, beautiful. Look, I have my moments. Charming sometimes. Interesting, definitely. But I, I get Good it. things about you. Here they are. You really, do this on air. Nice really? eyes. You have beautiful skin in real life, I've seen. Tall. You have a presence about you. And of course, all the things we know from listening to you speak. You care about the community. You have love in your heart. There you go. You're oh, a good man. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I'll take it. I'll take it. I used to all be right. cuter. You say that again? I used to be cuter. We all used to be cuter. That's what happens when you age. But then you go with it because we're here and you just enjoy the enjoy the ride. Yeah, but some people don't age the same, Miss genetic lottery winner (laughs) thanks up next is my good friend martha carr five months ago says you were condescending you are guilty of the false drama fake bitch nice Nice, we don't really spread the drama compared to no we don't spread the drama at all and martha carr is one of my she's a super fan of me obviously she loves me she probably has like, she's probably gone on YouTube and taken screenshots of every video I've ever been in. And if you went to wherever she lives, if it's a she, because it's a troll, the walls, like a serial killer, are papered with pictures of me. And there's like a shrine with candles. Seriously, these trolls are obsessed. Wait, you're saying that the shrine with you and candles is a bad thing? <laughs> Anyway, the next two are going to be so we're gonna go, we're gonna we're gonna do this tennis style back and forth. Ready? And and I'm wait, wait, wait. I need to have more of my lovely sake. It's the only sake. time you drink, isn't it? No, it last time I drank was the last time we did one of these shows. I'm not a drinker. Wow. Nothing, you know, wrong with people who have an occasional glass of wine or have wine with dinner. It's just we're not promoting alcoholism here. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> All right, let's. I'm ready to go back and forth. Um, okay, so uh, little Ricky's flying circus says, "What does the ginger bring to the table? More like take away." I guess the ginger means me. Yeah, ginger's you. <sighs> he doesn't like you. Ah, uh, well, join the club. Get in line, buddy. <laughs> Truth or lies? TV says five months ago about you, Mark. You look like the Monopoly man. <laughs> See, so I don't get that. There's a backstory on that. This was our New Year's Eve episode. Oh, Before so I moved to my hat. house, when I left the UK, and I was staying in an apartment temporarily, and we wore New Year's Eve party hats, those paper hats, and you wore one that made you look like a top hat from the 20s. So, Okay. I was about to say, yeah, because the Monopoly Man, that's a stretch. But I was wearing a Monopoly Man hat. There you go. Which so you, didn't fit me because I have a size eight plus head. I yeah. thought it was just a size eight, but actually it's uh, probably eight and two. What eight size and shoes do you wear? 13. I probably shouldn't say that on air. 13. Yeah, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Well, it's the biggest size you can have before you have to go to a different store. Usually. Oh, Except now Walmart you. will carry the big sizes. They'll carry 14s and 15s. Don't buy shoes at Walmart, people. No, but you know what they say about guys with big feet? Big socks. And that they get more for their money because somebody who's got a much smaller foot, size seven or eight, they've got to pay the same price as you and you get more material and craftsmanship. I didn't even think of that. It's, it's That's a good. Win. Although you do have to pay nowadays, with shoes, you're right. 
but with shirts and jackets and all that other stuff, you have to pay extra. So really? once you get up to like double XL and triple XL, you know, okay. big heavy, heavy hitters type guys. I they, wear size uh, zero or two in women's clothes if you don't know women's clothes. Seriously, really shouldn't say that on there because now you've got a whole bunch of people that are just Doesn't hating matter. you. Seriously, no, no. children's department sometimes. No, 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 no. It's zero or two or extra small to small. Depends on the depends on the brand. And Prince uh, had to go to the boys' department. Yeah, that makes sense. He was quite small. He's petite. Yeah. And do, do I get a discount? I should get a discount. I need sure. to look into that. Well. <laughs> but I don't. The like discount is the, the, the woman that rang you up hates you. <laughs> I don't buy clothes anymore. I've got a lot. I got enough. I've got enough to last a lifetime. Bob um, Bob says, oh, I wonder if he stole that from Bedazzled. The, I never saw uh, Bedazzled. The second one with Brendan Fraser. That was one of the uh, the the sports casters in it. it. Was Bob Bob? Oh wow! Down to the down to the court with Bob Bob. Okay, uh, I don't know why, but when an attractive woman falls into the pit of flat Earth stupidity, it bothers me more than the idiot guys. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah, so you get actually extra hate points because yeah. you're a woman and attractive. So I good guess. for you. All the women in flat Earth. Let me tell you, sisters. We face it. We have to deal with it because the haters and the trolls comment on how we look. Yeah, not that's, just that's the, the first content. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Now, with men, most of the time, um, hater troll types aren't commenting about how we look, but um, and I'm talking about trolls who are globe earthers who hate flat earth and right. flat earthers who hate fellow flat earthers. Right. They, they troll you on your looks if you're a woman. That's just wrong. On all levels. Uh, I guess I've got this next one. Yes, you do. Which is unfortunate. Here it's it is. Short. Truth short. or Lies TV five months ago. Patricia is hot. I would bang. <laughs> all right. Followed by a not so nice comment. Truth or Lies says, Mark looks pale. Lol. Lol. <laughs> At uh, least he didn't spell it L A W L. Both of us are pale. That's just life. Deal with it. You know, whatever you were born with is what you are. Yeah. Lol, by the way, is one of those things that bugs me because I don't write is, lol. I don't. Write I don't. I never maybe write lol. Internet slang. Maybe because I'm older, I just don't write it. But you have to do it in text, even though you would never do it in real life because yeah. it's the same three syllables. Laugh out loud is the same thing as LOL. But when you're texting it, it's much shorter. But I've actually heard people say lol in real life. You don't life. really text, though. I don't, but I've watched a lot of people that do. I've right. I've kept up on the kids, you know, mm -hmm. the younger generations. Yeah. Yeah. You know I'm what's hip. hip. I know what's hip. I know what's going on. <laughs> you know what's happening. <laughs> Minecraft. You know what's, that's a thing. You know what's you know you know what's the bee's knees. <laughs> All Let's right. Let's go cut a rug. Is it you? You're next. All right. Frank Buck. Quichio, B yeah, he's in our live chat right now. He's so nice. Oh, well, thank you. Th you said that because I was going to torture him. B U Q U I C C H I O. I -O. Says, I, wish, on YouTube. I wish my wife was like Patricia. <laughs> well, what he means by that is I'm sure he loves his wife. What he means is in the flat earth, open minded to these sorts of thoughts and ideas. Yeah, if I was his wife right now, I would look at him and start squinting. <laughs> Well, I'm going to read the next one. It's a response to Frank from Dan Cross five months ago, who says, Frank, I sent her a marriage proposal. I haven't heard back yet. It's only been a year, so I'm sure she's still pondering it. Awesome. The last marriage proposal that I got turned to utter, I uh, can't even say the word. <laughs> so nice. I'm taking a break on marriage proposals at the moment. That's probably a good idea. That's yeah. going to be a busy year, so I would uh, I'd keep your options open. The uh, episode 143, Jack Black. Oh, my gosh. Jack Black again. Hey, he, at least he writes some quality stuff. He I does, mean, he's, he he, he's out of all the trolls, the he, show. So. he makes the cut in in several things. So, Jack Black, if you're listening right now, keep up, keep up the good stuff. It's quality. Patricia, just so you know, more and more people realize you are a lame poser. You don't care about the Flat Earth Awakening. You only see the potential material gain out of it. You never ever bring anything to the subject. From the beginning, for you, Flat Earth was only an unexpected and promising way to make some shekels. And you jumped in nose first. Nose first and shekels. So this is some mm. kind of slam on people who mm. are Jewish. 
which I'm oh, not. Oh, see, I was going to pick up something else. Yeah, I mean, it's really crazy the low level people go to try to put others down. And I've actually never heard nose first until I read that. I never heard nose first before, but I know that that's yeah. where this person is going. This sure. Jack Black in quotes, who's got Neil deGrasse Tyson as his uh, icon and who yeah. I've ne never seen put on any video content. He's not providing anything to the flat earth. He's not helping anybody do anything. He's providing a big old fat zero. Um, <laughs> I follows with, I wish more people could ignore the makeup and looks and see you for the poor, lonely, failed, slow aging, energy depraved female that you are please stop you're embarrassing yourself to that i say uh slow aging thanks that's that's yes yeah, i just say compliment. how did you squeeze that in there okay poor lonely failed energy depraved okay but slow aging and he meant energy deprived can't even write a troll comment well actually i like it better that way energy depraved i'm depraved it's good Whatever. They should anyway um by the way jack black you say, please stop. You're embarrassing yourself. I won't stop. I'll never stop because flat earth is truth. And I'm contributing what I've got to okay. this awakening. Yours. Up next, critical thinker four months ago says, my God, is this just all about me? Wait, a lot of it this, is actually. You catch more hell than I do. I do get a lot of hate. I'm okay with it. <laughs> she <be> drinks. <laughs> I'd be gone if I wasn't a little bit more. You know what I jokingly said? Will she drink the whole bottle? Holy smokes. You, you know, this is the same thing that happened last time. And then you... 10.2 fluid ounces. You got a good night's sleep out of it. That's for sure. I did. And I woke up with a slight headache the next day that was totally relieved by drinking a lot of distilled water. Don't be fooled, kids. After this show's over, she'll be like, she'll be reading the comments actually again saying, self-absorbed. I'll show you self-absorbed. <laughs> I would slip my wrist right now if I had a razor blade. I know. And so you like try to do it like a plastic comb. You're not getting anywhere. <laughs> Just like make a little slight bruise. <laughs> All right. I'm ready. I'm back. Here we go. Yeah. Critical thinker. <sighs> she is so self absorbed. That much is evident. God hating bimbo. God hating. God hating. That's, that's strong. And it's so strong due to the fact that before Flat Earth, I didn't classify, classify myself as an atheist, but I definitely would never have used the word God in a sentence or the creator. I kind of just believed in the Big Bang. So because of Flat Earth, because of all of this, I definitely know this is not a Big Bang accident and I am not an accident. You and everyone watching isn't an accident. So God hating? I think not. Critical I think not. thinker, critical thinker needs to rename him or herself into non-thinker. Wow, you're next. Really, you've got <laughs> you've got some of the cheesiest comebacks I think I've ever heard ever. Well, you know, you do what you do. You do what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> this this is the point where I say stop drinking. I should like type it into text. No, no one. Okay, I want to go I'm into fine. the live chat. I'm fine. I'm totally I'm fine. fine. I can drive. It's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. All right. Let's see if chat says I should stop drinking. No, they'll never tell you to stop. Chad has no restraint whatsoever. Mm hmm. Marilyn Wiseby says, self-absorbed, have another drink or something along those there lines. Timaea says it so well. Pat is too nice to be mean back to the trolls. I'm not mean back to the trolls. Felix Siam says, Patricia's getting tipsy. <sighs> so. I am. Yeah, I know. You're, you're actually blood alcohol level. I'm totally. I'm still fine. I'm still fine. <laughs> I love that. That's what they all say. Yeah, I know. It's ugly. I'm fine. I, where are my keys? I can't. Before they keys. fall over, like, I'm still fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Look, you two, there's only me. No, seriously, you two have got to stop giving me crap. <laughs> you don't know. Okay. So you and that other guy you're standing near better <laughs> stop saying bad things about me. I see two of you. So you and that other guy better shut up. I'm a pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> Why doesn't anybody want to dance with me? Anyway, okay, so William Reichardt says... Four months ago. Four months ago. I know, this is distant hate. 
both these people are like circus clowns and used car salesmen rolled into one. Nice. They are on a government payroll, obviously. They actually add credibility to the Flat Earth Truth Movement as it shows the government has something to fear. That makes no sense. So... We add credibility to the Well, movement. what they're saying is, is that because we're out here, yes. the government is scared. So we're, because our team is actually working on this, well, my team and then your team and your advisors and all that crap you have to deal with. By the way, we don't have teams or advisors, but we're just- I'm sorry. Okay. Is this on? Hello? Hello? <laughs> the, um, what I'm saying is, is that because we're here, the government is responding to the flat earth. William Reichardt just needs to go get a life. Again, super lame. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I need to get cooler, but it's too late. I, I was about to say. No. Elegant, yes. Cool. I've never been cool, and I'm proud of that. Charles Fokart, four months ago, says, two cocks, one female, one male, makes me want to spit out the red pill. You know, I've never understood how the, the term cucks came it's, in. It's definitely cuckold is what it means. Oh, is that, that where it came yeah, it's from? It's from cuckold, yeah. Well, I got that. I got the whole cuckold thing. I mean, I've... It's, it's, an, it's a thing that you find a lot online now. Cucks. A couple of years past, huh? recent of times. How did that? I know IPS uses it. Yeah, there you go. Hmm. I, I just, it's not my thing. Uh, You're next one, with the hate. The, the one Wait, man, are you still drinking or is it just me? Fine. Seriously? Is that what it's going to turn into? Yes, yes. Yours is more alcohol content. Is there, by the way, well. By the way, what? Nothing. I'm just no, wondering. Say it, say, uh, it, say, it, say it, say it, say it. Well, no, I was saying at the conference, if there's a bar, I don't know if there's a bar in the hotel. Better because I know be. people are going to be buying buying me drinks. And stuff. <laughs> like, look, I, you know, yeah. The no one's going to buy you a drink. Who would even buy Mark Sargent a drink? No, people have already lined up. I've gotten tons of emails. Just people joking. are totally going to buy you a drink and dinner. Yes. It's like, dude, there's only so much I can eat and or drink. I am joking because. But I've only got one speaking thing on the first day. So I should be oh. okay. And then we've got the Flatty Awards at the end. But that's the last event of the second night. So I actually may actually show up to that thing with a bottle. And then I've got a, a panel, aside from the Flatty Awards, I've got a panel show with ODD and I think Carly Sunshine. Do you know what time that's at? No, I have no idea. But by the way, for those who aren't aware, Flat Earth Conference coming up um, and the information is in the description box of this video. It's sold out at this point, but we're hoping we can get Robbie D to loosen it up and get a few more tickets available for sales. But it's yeah, dropped off at the max I mean, right it, now. It's June and... As this thing, you know, because it's going to, all the intensity is going to get compressed as we get closer. It's sold out so fast. But yeah. it's the first one. They didn't know it would be as popular. So they didn't make the provisions for a bigger space. And yeah. what can you do? Look, I mean, press passes are being handed out. So we need to get, I mean, I'm it's going to so be, it's going to be a good I know. I'm, I'm excited too. But there's other things that have, are coming up where we'll be meeting people. Hey. And I'll mention one of them as we get, remind me to mention my upcoming two meetups before we end our show. What, you're doing two? One in the UK and one in Houston. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. We'll do that because we're almost done with the comments. Okay, right. the one the one man, yeah, pretty close. Yeah. The one man published, the one man publisher says two hours of pretty much zero content folks still we can't have mark going hungry okay what uh, yeah you, you weren't actually catching that so basically they're, they're saying that i'm doing they're doing videos so that i can eat yes exactly i totally caught that they're saying yeah, that uh, you're, you're doing this in order to make money to eat yeah okay one i didn't even monetize the channel for the first 15 months yes second i make almost everything creative commons license you guys can steal hits all day long and, and they did it. by oh. the millions people have stolen the hits but i don't mind steal them hey great fantastic go no i'm not going to starve totally fine and people have said that to me i'm in it for the money here's a tip from me to you go to something called social blade it's socialblade.com you could go in there Enter the YouTube content provider's name of your choice. You can put my name, Patricia Steer, or Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, or anyone's name in there. 
you can see how much they make through monetization through YouTube. Now, since I don't have Patreon or a pay per view show thing, uh, it's just the monetization of my channel. Well, you know, it's you know what I'm talking about. You know, those that's a special you, Cinemax thing, but that's a whole no, other relevant. No, that's no, not flat earth. You know, yeah. That she's um, got an alias for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the channels that show you an hour for free on YouTube, and then you've got to pay for the other one. I don't have that. All I've got is YouTube monetization. You can skip the ads, or you can have ad blocker. Who cares? Uh, I'd say between a hundred and four hundred dollars a month is my take. So if I'm doing this for the money, I'm totally dumb. <laughs> you just opened yourself up there, but that's okay. Anyway. That next one's yours. By Vince Webb, four months ago, who says. The king and queen are back together. We are not worthy. That's a really nice comment, although we're not the king and queen. It's a very Death nice... to all who oppose us. In a painful way. <laughs> a painful way? Yes. Come on. Queens are more ruthless. Yes. You got, I mean. Kill them all. all. There you go. Let God sort them out. Bring me the girl. <laughs> Bring me anyone who opposes me. And those little dwarves. I'll have them for lunch. There you go. That's perfect. Am I am I getting it? Maleficent wouldn't have done it any better. That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Seriously. I suddenly go all juggaloo or whatever. Juggaloo. Juggalo. Yeah, Actually, yeah. it's juggalette in your case. Oh, okay. All right. I got a drink just to catch up. Me too. Me too. Even though we don't You're, have you're next, that. by the way. Uh, Brolin smokes a lot. And I'm <laughs> sure he does. Nothing wrong with it, but I'm saying that this person's comments are all over my videos. Pause the video at 3 minutes 6 or 3 minutes 7. Mark Sargent and Hot Potato Head Girl are both reptilians. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, this person's always saying I'm a reptilian. I've seen your eyes shape shift. Exactly. We will fool them. Seriously. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Not reptilians. That's a whole other group. We're not yeah, part yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. The um, um is, it me? The, is it you? Is it Ix, me? Ix, Ix, the um, oh, episode, episode 145. Yeah. Sam the Science it. Guy. Sam the Science Guy. What? Four months ago says, no thanks to these guys and gal for confusing my vision about science and NASA. I'm not a flat earther. But now I'm going back through my notes and I'm questioning it. Damn it. I can't unsee what I saw and heard. So did this person actually have an awakening during one of our shows? Yeah. He wasn't actually trolling, kind of, but kind of he was. Saying we were confusing him. But yeah, he was having an awakening like a lot of people. Once you get, you get, you know how it goes. Once the seeds in your head can't get it out. Yes, it's so so. Marble in a paint can, gling 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 gling. Yep, that's it. Yep. You're next. W a e i l one two three four. They need a new name. New Something name. <laughs> Is Patricia taken? I'm a flat earther, and I want her in my life. Hmm. Thank you. That's nice. It's awesome. Yeah. Um, Darren Wagoner, three months ago, is making a comment that needs a little backstory. Uh, a certain YouTuber that I won't mention because I know he's in love with me and wants me to mention him. The first part of his YouTube name is Star. You oh, wow. Seriously? You're going you're gonna to take it that far? This particular person said that I was going to have a kissing booth at the conference, which, of course, that's totally ridiculous. This person it's a kissing room. <laughs> Let's clarify things. The here. whole conference is a kissing room. Yeah. 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 But anyway, this particular person had made videos about that, which is ridiculous and funny and sad at the same time. Anyway, so Darren Wagoner is responding to that and says, no kissing booth? I must say, my enthusiasm for the Flat Earth Conference has diminished slightly. LOL. <laughs> wow. Because this person, Darren Wagner, knows that that other person is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. That's actually pretty good. That's classic. Yes. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I good. used to like Cocoa Puffs. You? 
Uh, I was an allowed sugared cereal. Either was I, but my father, he was always the enabler in the family. My mother was definitely as we didn't have organic foods back then in the sixties and seventies and eighties. But my, uh, my mother was very much into the natural realm. No processed foods, no sodas, not even candy cigarettes. I mean, no, 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 and no, and light. We had a walk with cigarettes? we had a walk with books on our head to my sister and I to maintain posture and dignity, very ladylike, how to sit like a lady, all of this. But my father was like, yeah, whatever. We're gonna have soda pop. We're gonna have sugared cereal. <laughs> Stay out till two a.m. and watch really trashy TV. Yeah, I miss my dad. <laughs> you, you actually did books on the head. Oh yes, I have good. That, you know that's. Based usually, on, books on the head, you have to usually pay top top dollars for that. That's finishing school. It, yeah, well, that's my mother finishing school, and we got the benefits of that. My sister and I, anyway. So yeah, wow. I've actually not known Amy. I mean, I've known debutantes, yes. and I have yet to meet one that actually did the whole book on the head thing. That's old school. That's the thing. You you it's throw your oops my kimono. Is yes, I know. Your yes. shoulder. Throw your shoulders back and put these books on your head and then walk and don't the book shouldn't topple in order just to maintain posture. Now it all sounds stupid and ridiculous and it's very hoity toity and it's elitism, but no, the reality is if you have good posture, it will create a balance within your body and that will create health or at least promote health. So that's not a bad you thing. Look, you can look down on people. Episode 147. What? What? I'm just saying. Oh, I'm I sorry. Episode on nobody. I look equal eye to eye with everyone really because you always people keep saying you look down at me in this show and that's because oh you're, that's you're looking, only because your camera you're, you're looking down over. my camera's up and your camera's down you switched your camera angle it's so much better well better ish it was Before not that, a, well, it was like, I mean, I I messed, was like way up here and i looking oh, i could make it a lot worse this the monitor is actually cranked out i could well i'm not gonna do it because i'd probably no. screw it up with this one Okay, so Joe Schmo oh, no says kissing Muth, by the way unless you got a crisp hundred dollar bill baby Oh my God! Just joking. We're, we're we're actually still in the air, you know. All right, Joe Schmo. <laughs> seriously, it has to be a hundred. Joe Schmo says and new, <laughs> unused. New can't be a crinkle. Can't be a drug it can't deal be bill. Dirty. It can't be soiled. Can't be like crumpled up. <laughs> no. Like it was used in a heroin transaction. Joe and Schmo. You must wipe your lips with alcohol first. Oh my! All this is jokes, by the way. How me. much is left in that bottle? Uh I'm not drunk. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm still I'm fine. I'm fine. You know, really, good. that's what the cops hear every single time, right? I'm not drunk, Ostifer. <laughs> uh, okay. It's Joe. Two fluid ounces. So. Uh, you, right. you go, go, go. All right, Joe Schmo you says, <laughs> "How is it? I, ha I do have it actually. I could finish <laughs> out the show, and you could do your whole Ed McMahon lying on the chair thing, and I'll just be like." <laughs> snoring sitting back joe says how is it secret if it's every week and public your two paid cia shills nobody real would waste their time like this thanks actually, joe good. for wasting your time like this <laughs> would, actually. all right we got five more four more this is from episode 147 from panic attacks three months ago who says this is painful to watch followed by george chilcott who says, this is Terra Ball. Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. Terra Ball. <laughs> Terra Ball. I've actually never seen that in comments, but that's Love it. pretty good. That's good trolling. Quality trolling. Yeah. Uh, Devon Velo, three months ago, says, this is to you, Mark. Why are you partnered with her? Followed by Bill Keith, who says, because not everyone in the Flat Earth Awakening is a hater. Love you, Bill. And you get Bill the last one. Keith is awesome, by the way. He makes great comments on many videos. Mm -hmm. This is the last comment of the show, and then we're going to talk. And then we're going to talk about two events that I've got coming up. And whatever else comes to mind. And more drinking. Josh Waugh, three months ago, says, they do terrible shows. Then they put them up twice. <laughs> and that's true. I put them up. Uh, you put them up first on yours, we, and then Wednesday. I wait. We do our Wednesday. shows Wednesday. I put them up Friday. So, like this show, you're going to put up on yours. Mm -hmm. And then I will, what day is today? Monday. I'll put it up probably on Wednesday. You put, yeah. You, Bef before. Yeah, you put it up a couple of days after mine. And yeah. there's a lot of people who see them on your channel, and 
they don't get as many views on your channel as on mine because this is the channel of origin, I guess. Right. Um, and people are like, oh, like getting less views, Mark and Patricia, on yours. People don't really. You know, people kind of get the routine now. And that is, look, you want to watch it first, watch it on Patricia's. Yeah, and watch both and give them both thumbs up. But you know what? I love all the hater comments. I They don't offend me. They don't hurt me. They do nothing to me. Some of them make me happy. Some of them make me say, that's pretty good trolling, pretty funny. And some of them make me say, try harder. That wasn't nasty enough. So keep them coming and you'll find yourself on the next episode of this, the good, the bad, and the ugly flood earth comments. Exactly. We're doing that next month around this same time. So, right. All right. This is how much I've got left of, oops, of my sake as I smash the bottle. I'd say your uh, uh, reaction. I do, that, I do that even with, when sober. Not as much. No. Uh, I know you're trying to stay super composed. The whole finishing school thing is playing well, but inside you're like barely inside, hanging on. Yes. Yeah. A few more and then I'll be like talking and I'll just see you just kind of lean. Exactly. Pfft, gone. I'll be, let me go into the live chat and see what people are saying. Um, we've got Christopher in here and road FM and uh, she says alcohol has made Patricia weak. No. Helioskeptic says, Trolls love the flat earth. And yes, they do. For those of us who make videos, we know all about it. The trolling. And for those who watch videos and read comments, we know about the trolling. We okay. recognize some of these same names that are in uh, the shows that we do. What and trolls have come and gone? We've yes, seen there's them. Many we've, there are many that are trolling here in this show that we've read and in our previous show that we haven't seen yet. Although they do change their names. And you and I, Mark, discovered something very interesting when we were going over these comments from our previous videos and printing them out. At least Some I did. of the lazy trolls, yeah. yeah. The, the ones you that are like, lazy, they'll take the comments, they'll change accounts, and then they'll just cut and paste the exact same comment from a different account. Yeah, I think it was either Mar it was a Martha Carr or Jack Black. Or was it? They were posting the same comment under different names. I can't remember. And somebody called them on it and said, hey, did you post that same comment under that other person's name? And they said, oh, I just want the comment to be known by the flooders. Well, and they did it on the same video. Who reposts the same comment from somebody else on the same video? Yeah, that's I pretty know rare. Him. It doesn't yeah. happen. That's some lazy trolling right there. Don't be lazy. Don't, do Don't it. be lazy. Troll and troll hard, my friends. <laughs> um, hey to Jem Panda, who's here, who is a glow birther and uh, is, is being nice as always. Uh, Siege Gior as well, who says, think before you drink alcohol. I totally agree with that. Drink responsibly. I'm not planning on going anywhere or driving a car. I plan on making a fresh juice with organic produce after this and drinking a lot of water, taking a shower, and then going to sleep. I'm actually going to teach a driver's ed class after this. <laughs> exactly. And following that by uh, taking a bunch of children to church. <sighs> well... I was lying earlier. I plan on showing new medical students how to do an operation on the human brain. Sorry, Adam. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a firearm safety course. <laughs> That's a very good idea. I plan on working with snakes. The poison is variety. <laughs> Damn it! You got me on that one. Uh, you're gonna you're gonna do what? Are, what do they call the, that that church that does snake handlers? Yes. Yeah, snake. you're gonna do a snake handling sermon. Flat Plain says Patricia's alcohol is showing. Oh, I'm trying hard. Um, <laughs> Markovsky says, chug, chug, chug. <laughs> Hello to Rebel Rebel. And Frying Squirrel says, one more of them bottles and the world sir comes on by itself. The what? The world sir. The oh, yeah, there. right. That'd be funny. Actually, it's pretty good. Um, that's funny. Um, so many... Uktina says, I'm losing composure. Eh. Siege Gior says, alcohol is poison. I'm telling you right now, I totally agree. Alcohol is poison. If you want to use poison, do it and do it in a situation where you're not going to be endangering the lives of others. Well, that's actually parents have said that over the years. If you're going to drink, drink in the house. Yeah. And my parents said, if you ever go to a party, Put the case in the dad, hole. call me or call mom or dad, call in either of us at any time, no matter what time it is, even if you've broken curfew, we'll come pick you up and you won't be in trouble. Yeah. Just do not drive 
home. Josh. That's yeah. You know, that's one of the two things that you can do as a parent. That one is buy if when you buy your kids a car. If you do buy your kids a car, it's yeah. it's ugly but reliable because then you right. don't care if if it gets dinged up. That's right, that's right, the first right. thing. I always sound advice. And the second one is that, and that is tell them it's like, look, I know you're going to drink sometimes. I know, but if you do, absolutely do not drive. I, that what you just said there, I will come pick you up, whatever it is. Do not get caught, especially nowadays. You know, back when we were growing up, back in, you know, we were back in the old days, back in the wagon train days. When <laughs> I, I used to say when dinosaurs roamed the earth and now I say mm, the old not days, as, <laughs> not as much. Yeah. Well, back then, the, the penalties weren't as bad as they are now. I mean, now, seriously, you get a DUI now. They used to be called DWI, but now it's DUI right. where you you get i mean they don't mess around even first time i mean you are screwed the guy who hit my car had an open container of alcohol it was a, a cup but it had alcohol in it that was weird oh i got my car back and the guy who claimed i was responsible that was all put to rest when i took pictures of the scene the things he claimed that i did in my car were totally impossible physics yep. and he was found totally responsible for the accident and at, during the accident after the scene after the accident uh he was put into the police car in handcuffs i wasn't well that figures um but then he reported to the insurance agency that it was my fault and anyway i ended up um overturning that and he had to pay for everything cool. and I had full insurance and I've got my car back and it was only slight cosmetic damage total hassle but yeah don't drink and drive are you stupid yeah don't yeah don't drink and drive ever 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 in fact I'm paranoid of it because I, I mean, I've, 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 dumb it's just especially with uber just take uber yeah yeah. I mean, whenever I go to a concert, I went to a Morrissey concert recently I plan on going to others I take uber they pick you up they drop you off you're fine and i don't get drunk or anything I, this this type of drinking that i'm doing today with you is way more than anything i would do socially so um i, I talking, should consider myself lucky well you and i met in person and we had alcohol and uh we didn't we drank way i think we drank one drink maybe yeah maybe not as much. two nothing really yeah. um uh, triumph spitfire 1979 triumph spitfire that was my first car we were talking about cars earlier. Really? Yeah. Seven nine trials. Convertible. British, British racing. British race. See, I can't. I uh, no no. I know. British I know the Triumph series green. very well. My it's friend was a, was a big collector of TR threes. Yes. You know what's weird? A boyfriend I had at the time, not the one I spoke of earlier, who wore brute. This guy actually wore Christian Dior, and I remember the smell. Totally different story. But anyway, <laughs> that guy had that car you just mentioned. TR three. A TR3 and I had a, a Triumph Spitfire. We both had those cars and we kind of met over car talk actually in the parking lot of high school. It was a 79. I graduated in 81 from high school. And that's the car. That's pretty school. rare that you would have two kids in your high school that actually have Triumphs. Yeah, two different types of Triumphs. And we I mean, ended that's... up becoming a couple. Wow. He's a that's neurosurgeon amazing. now. A neurosurgeon. Yeah. He lives in Connecticut and is married to a redhead. How weird is that? <laughs> Let's move on to the um, events that are coming up. Yes, let's. Um, let me pull up what I've got here. Um, pad for me while I scroll through my... Oh, right. So uh, there's an event coming up in... Okay, there's two things coming up in Colorado, but we want to focus on the main one because the other one's a first-timer. And that is there is going to be a Flat Earth meetup in Fort Collins tomorrow night. And there's going to be two special guests there. They're going to be showing up. One is Bob from Globusters, and the other is that going to be guy, oh, who's he? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. I've I've heard rumors. Bob Globusters. Bob. What did you that just say? Ring a bell. Name, ODD. Yeah, I don't know that. He's showing up at this thing, and <laughs> so is ODD Reality. Yes. In fact, they may even be driving together, and they're going to be showing up this thing. And the rumor has it there may be some media attending. We're not actually supposed to talk which media. But we can say that there is media attending, and the Playboy Channel. The, is that still a thing? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think the Playboy is Playboy Channel still 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 operational. I just said it to be funny, but it, it's probably that kind of humor you use when you're too old to really realize it's not funny. <laughs> <Right. anymore. laughs> yes. 
<laughs> Better get Walter Cronkite on that. Yeah, exactly. Oh my gosh, I used to love Walter Cronkite. Seriously, Aww. you should not say stuff like this. I did. I I know you did, but you don't. He just seemed so trustworthy. He was probably he, just he reading worked. stuff people gave him, and he was not a reporter and people not a journalist. Believe and the age that you tell people, it's like probably she, a liar. And but it's I liked him. She's a five hundred year old reptilian. I certainly am. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, Continue. so that so that thing's going to happen tomorrow night, and I best of luck to everybody involved. I hope everything turns out great, and I'm sure it will. And I can't wait to see the follow up stuff on it. So that's you know. tomorrow. That's tomorrow. Six p.m. Purple Cup Cafe, corner of Drake and Shields. Cammy yep. is coming as well. Yep. By the way, Cammy, who's a natural redhead and has been dyeing her hair blonde and has said this, so I'm not giving away any secrets, has gone back to her red hair. I, 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 I'm Another shocked. Another redhead in Flat Earth. Yay. Holy smokes. There are a lot of redheads. Um, is there some sort of ginger connection? I think there is. Yes. <laughs> um, we are here to rule the world. I was about Stand to say. Back and let us handle things. Um, there'll be presentations and a uh, bunch of flat earthers and different guests. Capacity is 50. Please RSVP with a number attending. And who do we RSVP to? NADA Space Agency. So find them on YouTube. N-A-D-A -A Space Agency. Really? Because I had Patrick's number. You can just call him. Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Put that uh, up. Uh, hang on one second. It is... Purple Cup Cafe, though. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, and I said on. I'd mention it during the show. So I'm going to launch the next one. One second. For more information, John Vanuck. And his phone number is 970-218-3638. John VNUK. That's JJV Colorado at gmail.com. All right. So that's where that one was going to be. There's going to be another one in Denver. It's their first time. And you guys can check out the trailer on YouTube if you would like to go to that. But I'm not going to promote it real heavily because I don't want to create a big conflict between the two. You don't want to jinx it? <laughs> well, no, no. I, I hope it was great. I mean, there's a lot of people in Denver and fantastic. Hope, hope that one goes great Denver too. is a hotbed of yeah. flat earthers. Most yeah. Time. Yeah. The... Um, the Phoenix one. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. I don't have the yeah, info the, on that. Yeah, the Phoenix. The Phoenix one's going to happen. That's on the twenty fourth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We'll mention and, the one on the twenty fourth uh, on our Wednesday secret show. But uh, today being Monday the nineteenth. By the way, if you're watching this at a later date, forget all those dates and times because you missed it. But that's why we're mentioning the one tomorrow, Tuesday in Denver, just because right. it's tomorrow. And then well, you might as well bring it up. Oh, I've you, got your big one. Two things coming, but I just decided today to do a flat earth mixer. Now, I did one last year at a restaurant, an Italian restaurant called La Griglia. It's in a really nice place. It's in the River Oaks area, close to where I live in Houston, Texas. I did it last year and I had several courses of vegan food, totally free for those who attended. You only had to pay for your alcohol, uh, water was free, um, or other beverages that you drank. So, doing it again. Decided to do it. I don't know. Spur of the moment. Really? And you're not going to say why? Oh, I will say why in a minute. It's spur of the moment, but also due to something I'll mention in a second. Spur uh, of the moment, spur but. Of the moment based on something else. But yeah, so I'm going to be doing uh, an event at La Grilla Italian Restaurant in the River Oaks area. There will be a video that's coming out soon. And uh, whoosh, I can't even remember the day that I said. What did I say? Why can't it's I? This is the second here? because you've been Thank drinking, you. my dear. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's the second. So is it so it's the second. It's at a restaurant. And it's going to be an international house of pancakes. <laughs> Buy one. What's really? Called? You're going to move over yeah. my hammy and get one free. You're going to throw them under the bus, really? Remember International House of Pancakes, something that they had called moon over my hammy. Uh, see, that I, was an entree they had. Or, uh, I didn't do IHOP that I, much. Now, no. Denny's Grand Slam, I'll totally do that. Really? Oh, yeah. Right. I, li I don't like either. Um, anyway, yes, 7 p.m. Food snob. Sunday. Sorry. Did I that Sun well, being vegan, you got to be careful. I'm reading, actually. I'm actually, because the video is, I've got it, but it's not up yet. It's July right. 2nd, 7 p.m. 
Right, exactly, at La Groya Italian Restaurant. And I'm capping it off at 20 people. Just 20 people can attend because I'm paying for like four course meal of vegan food. And it's not vegan food like you're going to get some carrots, then some green beans, then some iceberg lettuce, and then yeah, a radish. No, it's, it's an amazing. eight course meal with four different types of servants. And, yeah, delicious, I, I, awesome, beautiful, wonderful. And we'll just gather and have fun. And if anybody wants to donate any door prizes like t shirts, et cetera, please message me at Miss Steer at gmail.com if you want to donate t-shirts or whatever you know i'm not going to keep them they'll be going to the people who are there 20 people in attendance that's my cap please check it out if you want by uh thinking about it think about it the second um of july at 7 p.m in houston texas it's a flat earth meet mix up mixer mix up they might be a mix up later in the parking lot after but um let me know Message me if you'd like to attend. And it's first come, first serve. So I'll take the first uh, 20 people who want to go. Mistyer at gmail.com. Let me know you're coming. And a promo will be coming courtesy of Mark Sargent soon. And now, with that, reason, also, there's... Uh, yeah, it's due to the fact that some people are coming to my house, to Houston, Texas, and filming me for an upcoming Flat Earth documentary. They've already been to Mark's house. And the same crew are coming to my house to film. So them. because there's a documentary team there, I'm recommending that the 20 people attend, you embarrass Patricia whenever possible. As a matter oh, of fact, no, no, if no. that restaurant is still standing, if the foundation <laughs> is still there in the morning, you haven't done your jobs. All right? So what that saying, means is Sunday burn the 2nd. that mother down. <laughs> the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. No, if so on Sunday. So white, you cannot say that. If it's if you're going Sunday the second of July to this event to have the free vegan food and mix and mingle with fellow flat earthers at my Houston Texas mixer, you will be probably unless they leave it on the cutting room floor in the documentary about flat earthers. So wear flat earth apparel if you got it. Yes, exactly. And if you've got flat earth apparel to donate to, for me to give away as door prizes, please, like I said, message me at missteer at gmail dot com. Yeah. So, and you can wear, I imagine, anything you want. Whatever flat earth apparel is out there. If you want to wear the beak, if you want to wear photo painting, if you want to wear, I don't know what's out there. Flat earth army. I am Mark Sargent. Do shirt. not wear I am Mark Sargent shirts. Don't I think everyone should come wearing that. No, 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 no. Save that for a whole other time. All right. Let me go back into the live chat and see if we have anybody left listening who hasn't abandoned ship. <laughs> abort. Abort. Um, <laughs> actually, I think they're holding on because they're they're it's like one more drink, they're gonna start one spilling the secrets. Let's spill some dirt right now. No, we're not. We have drone strike. I don't training think I later. have any dirt. Let me think about that. No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> wow, that was so convincing. I bought it. I only have like the one thing I don't talk about. Um, that's it. There's Nathan Oakley who's here with us who says, I had an amazing fiber optic for about three weeks and a, a guy came to fix a fault. Now, no net, no landline phone. Yeah, Nathan Oakley had great connection with his internet for all his YouTube needs. Then all of a sudden, some crazy stuff happened. He lives in Leamington Spa in the UK. Oh, I forgot. Remember when I said I was going to mention two meetups that I've got going? How could I even forget that one? Yeah, but it's yes. not for a while. Yeah, that's true. It's a Lemmington Spa meetup that's coming up. And let me get when? info on that. It's in Warwickshire, Jepson uh, Park, not where? Gardens, midday, oh. Saturday, July 22nd. And the host for the event, Nathan Oakley, Martin Leedke, and myself, many people are going to be attending outside in the park, free of charge, bring your own food and drink. It's going to be kind of a picnic casual environment. And that's in the UK. Yep. I'm going back to the UK this time. I'm but if you were attending, you have to be in drag. So huh? I'm pretty sure that was one of the things. All the guys are at least in drag. Oh, all the women are wearing like suits and just imagine if that was a requirement. No. Wear whatever you want. Saturday, July 22nd. If you'd like more information, contact Nathan Oakley or Martin Leakey or myself at missdeer at gmail.com. Cool. Now, back. Thanks for kind of like reminding me of that. That I oh, there was another. I'm, I'm all over this. You're on it? Yep. 
Oh, what do we got here? Hey, Zoe, be here and love is here as well. Martin Lee, he's in the chat, says 22nd Saturday, July. Oi, meaning yes. Um, so that's cool. Um, Carly Sunshine has a great comment. Oi is actually hey. Is it? Does oi mean hey? Oi. Hey. No, yeah, I didn't know that. version of hey. Well, then you know way more than me about things in the UK. I actually, absorb a lot no. of that technology. <laughs> you do not. I do not. I'm I like, know way more, but I'm not talking. Um, what do we got here? Uh, da, da, da. Oh, Carly Sunshine, who says, anyone bashing fellow flat earthers will be timed out. Very true. Very true. Death to all who oppose us. Um, we've got Frying Squirrel saying, IPS better not take my wrench back or I'll be upset. I'm not really sure how it goes with IPS because I'm not, I don't boss around IPS's channel. It's his own Oh, channel. shoot first, ask questions later. That's pretty much what he does. If yeah. somebody appears without a wrench in the chat, they're automatically like, Shh, out of there. And then later you've got to email him and ask for the wrench back. No. It's, it's like a Western bar where anybody who's unknown walks in. You open two of those doors and it goes, <laughs> da, 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 da. you know, what I'm talking about. The music. There you go. Yeah. You open those double doors and you come in and shot on site. Yeah. Right. But they do that. And it's not IPS manning the wrenches. It's other people to protect against incoming trolling. And you know what? It's his channel. He does what he wants. If you want to get a wrench back, because everyone gets a wrench, just message him. Enthusiastic bunch. Yes, indeed. Uh, what else do we got? What else do we got? What else do we got? I don't know. Do uh, we have anything else? I got to get some food. You know what's weird? Oh. Carly Sunshine just wrote, if you're wrote, if you're banned, it's because IPS was attacked. Email him, explain, and you'll get a wrench back. Hello to Five Arts Liberalis. Hey, I want to say something to Five Arts Liberalis. In Dell of Beyond the Imaginary Curve's last video, uh, he went in randomly. I mean, I didn't make any comments and made a nice comment about that. Hey, Patricia Steer and Flowers and Other Hot Potatoes and Mark Sargent, they were talking favorably about Dell's channel. Uh, it's cool that people are sharing each other's channels and, you know, helping each other. And then some crazy hater guy I'd never seen before started putting this large paragraph upon paragraph that made absolutely no sense about how I'm involved in a pyramid scheme with other flat earthers to get them to monetize their channels. And I take a percentage. What was that? I read it to 40, you. 40, 45%. 40% of 45%. You're like, oh my God, the paranoia and lies people spew. But anyway, Five Art Liberalis was in there saying- hey, hold up your uh, hand again, by the way. Why, why, why? Wow, I was about to say, yeah, because the 45%, you got to pay for that thing. Holy smokes. Ring? What is, yeah, what is that? Isn't it crazy? I don't know. Uh, it's a thing. It's a crazy ring. Yeah. Um, so it's just dumb. And Five Art Liberalis was totally aware that it was just dumb trolling and ignored it. Hmm. So. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. How do you want to close this thing out? I don't know. By taking this bottle of sake and smashing it over my microphone <laughs> and lighting the whole room on fire. Seriously? Just imagine. I wouldn't actually be happy until you like started doing, started crushing that guitar you have hanging on the wall, like the Who style. Just like, I'm such a bad guitarist. It's all right. In fact, you have a British guitar. It's the kind of cool. uh, uh, YouTuber named D. Lee said that you need to cut your nails because they're too long to play. What? No. I cut them. They were way longer. My nails naturally grow really long. I cut them because he said so. Hey, fla flash your, your nails in front of the... Uh, camera real quick why what are you gonna do give me some oh, no, 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 i'm just curious well no i was comparing them to like my cuticles which are amazing you I've do have good cuticles i know i didn't even know what a cuticle was until uh, a girl told me and she goes oh my god you've got great cuticles and just I go, dry skin if you have long cuticles by the way we've gone off the rails talking about cuticles right all right we gotta wrap this thing up what uh any other little things we gotta do you want me to do some last minute announcements on other last hangouts minute, that are happening? Yes, that would be good. The, um, there's going to be a summer 2017 conference where Zen Garcia is going after Dr. Stephen Pigeon. That's going to be August 5th and 6th down at the, that's in Atlanta, I believe, at the Holiday Inn Gwinnett Center. Go Zen Go. Yeah, go Zen Go. I'm sure he'll crush whoever that is. Yep. The... Take on the world 2017 or take on the world 17.com is going to be also another conference or another, not a conference, but a, uh, a kind of a debate thing. Rob Skiba is representing flat earth down there. If anyone's going to be a strong win right now. 
if anyone's interesting, go to takeontheworld17.com. That's great. And, oh, I should also mention, oh, sorry, the Flat Earth Rally on the Canadian side of the Niagara Falls on Canada Day from noon to four. You can contact nffe at gmail.com or flatearthhamilton at gmail.com. And last but not least, DITRH is doing a billboard that's going to be near the conference center. He's doing a GoFundMe, a stranger's guide to Flat Earth billboard. September, October, and November, it's going to be a printed billboard, not a digital one. We can send people to stand under it with flatter signs. Ooh. There. Wow, Mark, you know what? An idea just came to me, and I know everyone else has had these ideas, and I'm a little slow on the uptake. No. What? <laughs> How <laughs> dare you? Well, I never. Well, I never. Guards! Guards! <laughs> That's when I start Off running. with his head. Exactly. Uh, shall we do a fundraiser for a billboard, you and I. Sure. I mean, we sh I don't know what we'd put on it. Eventually, we got to figure out where it's going to be. Right. Well, what? What? We're, I mean, what to put on it, that's fairly easy, but where it's going to be. Well, what do you mean fairly easy? You know, it's really hard. It's like coming up with a very good tweet. It's no, I'd steal. It's a amount of information. No, I'd steal Research Flat Earth. It seemed very effective. It is effective, but I don't think we should put the same thing. Something else. Really? You want to do something different? All right. We will discuss that offline. We will discuss it off air. If anybody's got an idea of what to put in a billboard, I'm not saying Mark and I are going to try to fund this thing, but if you've got an idea, message me with it at mysterygmail.com. Uh, last little plug for me, my show tomorrow, I'm doing, there's going to be a brand new phone system involved. So those that Good. have been su suffering. Oh. On seriously. TFR, your show. Yeah, on TFR, been... I know I've been. The phones of... just don't ever work. The struggling with my phones and last right. time, I mean, I got through a lot of phone calls, but I was knocking off people right and left because right. they were just, they were just getting dropped. Area code, blah, blah, blah. You're gone. Area code, blah, blah, blah. You're gone. Oh, sorry, area code, blah, blah, blah. You're gone too. It's sad. Yeah. I know. I felt like I was wrenching them and I wasn't. You're making people cry, Mark. I know. Well, I will say this was positive reinforcement because they were calling in and they were getting dead air. So they just keep calling back. So I just got these waves and waves of cyclical callers. So, so they to, fixed the phone problem. Well, no, I basically, I'm going, I made a, a arrangement with TFR. Now I'm going through their phone system, which has been updated. I was using my own, but now I'm going to use theirs. All so, right. Oh, okay. I get it. But it costs, it. it costs more money to do it. But it's like, you know what? I'm doing it. Screw it. I'm just going to do it. So tomorrow night on TFR, you know, I do my shows every Tuesday. I'm going to do a new phone system and hopefully it works. We'll see. Yay. Yeah. We're, we're crossing my. <laughs> So that's uh, tomorrow night on TFR, Truth yeah. Frequency Radio. TruthFrequencyRadio.com, 7 Pacific, 10 Eastern. If you don't Range. know, you just look it up online and you'll find it and there's a listen live button and you click it and you can listen live. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, TFR, don't sell these guys short. They have in the Flat Earth community, look what they've got. Pro and con. They've got uh, myself, Jaronism, Jaronism Raw, Rob Skiba, Sean Karen, Zen Garcia. Mm -hmm. That's five pro. And then against... They've got, you know, guys that are actually making shows against it. They've got Zachary Hubbard and Chris Everhard. So in a that's, way, it's very balanced, and that's kind yeah. of good. Seven, yeah, seven shows that have some sort of stake in Flat Earth on one network. That's pretty impressive. Actually, I'd yeah. hope they get to the conference, but we'll see. You know, people are saying in chat that we should get the billboard in Houston because that's where NASA is. <sighs> oh, my God. Did you just hear that noise? That is probably your cue to wrap up the show. Something very that, expensive just some, fell and broke that was glass. Something broke. Yeah. <laughs> you got to go. Are my cats drunk? I don't know what went on over there. I don't know, but you're going to have fun cleaning it up. Remember, wear gloves if you're going to pick up glass. I will. I will. Oh, gosh. Drink responsibly. Drive fired. safe. <laughs> hugs, not drugs. And uh, Love your fellow flat earther. Treat them like the human being that they are. Absolutely. Not like what we've been reading. It's fun and funny and funny fun trolls and ha 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 but the reality is i mean there's some sick people out there who take pleasure from putting down others don't be that person nice anyway yeah until we do it again next month yep we'll have our been fun thank three. you guys it's been great thanks to all who have been in the live chat thanks to my cats for destroying valuable things and hopefully not hurting their own paws, which is the most important thing probably should go check on that yeah oh, yeah i'm gonna go check on that and okay. love to all Talk to you later. Keep it flat and and yes safe and safe and alcohol free and, and yeah exactly right and death to all who oppose us always. <laughs>